So hello guys welcome back to Algods and today we would be discussing this interesting question and the question name is rearrange the array alternatively. So first let us understand the question. In this question we are given a sorted array of positive integers and our task is to rearrange the array alternatively such that the first element should be the maximum element, the second one should be the minimum, then the third one should be the second maximum and fourth should be the second minimum and continuing on right okay so let us take a case here to better understand it right okay so let us say we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 as our input which means 6 elements right okay so now the output for this would be first the maximum element which is 6 then the minimum one then the second maximum then the second minimum and 4 and then 3 right so this would be the output for our question right and now let us see the constraints so the test cases can be up to 100 and uh, the number of elements in the array which is the array size can go up to 10 to the power 7 here right so I hope you have understood the question now let's discuss it right okay so seeing to the constraints of this question we need to develop some linear approach to solve this question, right? So we can use the two pointer approach here, right? So let's take the array again and see how we can use the two pointer approach here. Okay, so now we will set uh, one of the pointers i here initially and j at the end initially, and we would take another variable which is count right okay now if count is even we would add the jth element and then decrement j if it is odd then i would add the ith element and increment i right and also i would be requiring another array here an empty array initially right which uh, would contain our output answer right and it would be the same size as that of the initial array right so initially count is 0 which means even so we would add this 6 here right and then decrement it okay now count becomes 1 which is odd so we add the ith element which is 1 right and i increment i and count okay so now j is here and count is even so i would add 5 here right and then decrement j and also increment the count now count is odd so we add the ith element which is 2 and increment i okay now count becomes 4 which is even so we add the jth element decrement our value of j and uh, then increment the count now i is at the third position and count is odd so we would add this element 3 here and increment i now once i crosses j right so uh, there would be no more elements which are to be covered and we have covered all the elements it means right so we would stop at this point so uh, we would iterate until i is less than equal to j or we can say that i does not cross j right okay so if you see that we have got the correct answer here which is 615243 now let us analyze the time complexity and space complexity of this approach so we iterated through all the elements and we got to all the elements only once and in a linear fashion so the time complexity would be in the order of n and the space complexity uh, that is we took an additional array to store our output right so the space complexity would be also in the order of n now this time complexity would fit into the constraints of our problem but it's also given that only o of one extra space is allowed and we can modify the input array right in this uh, algorithm we are not modifying the original array instead we are using another array here to store our answer and this would not fit into the constraint as well right 
okay so we need to reduce this space complexity to o of 1 right so now if we see that at this even indexes which are 0 2 4 here what is coming is all the maximum indexes 1 by 1 or uh, uh, sorry the elements at the maximum indexes 1 by 1 uh, first 6 came then 5 then 4 and at this odd indexes what's coming is the minimum uh, elements one by one first one came then two then three initially here was one and six came initially here was two and one came initially here was three right and five came and so on so what if we could place two elements at the same index simultaneously right and then use some logic to extract out the element which we require Right. So, if we can do this, then we would not require this additional array. Instead, we would only modify the original array given to us. Right. Okay. So, let us see if we can do this for every two elements. Right. So, let me take two elements n1 and n2. Right. Let's take n1 as 5 and let's take n2 as 7. And let me take another element say z which is greater than both of these say 10. Now if I had to place n2 at this position what I can do is that I could add to n1 n2 modulus z multiplied by z right so now what happens is n1 becomes 5 plus 7 modulo 10 into 10 so 7 modulo 10 is 7 so 7 into 10 is 70 and 70 plus 5 is 75 okay so n1 becomes 75 now if i were to use 5 or i had to extract 7 so uh, for some further use what i can do is if i had to extract out n1 from here uh, what i can do is i can take modulus with this z right so 75 modulus z which is seven, uh, 10 here so 75 modulus 10 which becomes 5 so i can extract n1 similarly if i had to extract n2 for further use what i can do is i can divide this element by z so 75 divided by 10 which comes out to be 7 here so you see that we stored both these elements at the same position and then use this modulus or the division operator to extract out if we had to use these elements further Right, so similarly we can do this uh, for the our array. We would be storing uh, two elements at every index i and then for further use we can use, uh, if we had to use these elements further, we can uh, use this modulus or the division operator as required further. Right, okay, so now let us take uh, our array again and see how we can implement this approach here so our array was 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right now at this elements uh, sorry at these positions the maximum elements have to come one by one and at these positions the minimum elements have to come one by one so i would have to keep uh, the track of the index of the maximum and minimum element right so let me take two variables the maximum index which keeps track of the element of uh, index of the maximum element and min index which keep tracks of the index of the minimum element which has not been covered yet right okay so initially maximum index would be pointing to n minus 1 and n is 6 here so it points to 5 and now minimum index is at 0 initially now i would be iterating from start till the end right uh, the index is being 0 to 5 here right so i would be iterating from 0 to 5 and then i would use this approach of storing two elements at the same index and then uh, use this approach to extract out the element whichever i require right okay so now at even indexes we need to add the maximum element in this fashion uh, sorry at the uh, and at the odd indexes, we need to add the uh, minimum elements in this fashion, right? Okay, so now let's start iterating. Initially, our i is at 0, which means an even index. 
so we would be adding the element at the maximum index in that fashion right and we also need to take some z and z needs to be greater than all of these elements right so let us take z as 10 here okay so now a of 0 what we would be adding is the element at the maximum index which is 6 modulus 10 into 10 right so 6 modulus 10 is 6 6 into 10 is 60 so we would be adding 60 here so this element becomes 61 right now my i is incremented and it comes here so i becomes 1 right okay going back now i need to add something to a of 1 and since it's an odd index we would be adding the element present at the minimum index which has not yet been covered and the minimum index is at 0 right and also we simultaneously need to minimize or sorry decrement the maximum index right and uh, when we have covered the minimum index we need to increment it right okay coming back to i1 so we need to add the element present at the minimum index which is uh, 0 so the element is 61 so 61 modulus 10 into 10 right so 61 modulus 10 is 1 and 1 into 10 is 10 right so we would be adding 10 here so our element becomes 12 we increment our i from here to this position so i becomes 2 and since we have covered 1 here so we increment the minimum index to 1 right okay now let's uh, come to i2 so now since it's an even index we need to add the next maximum element in this fashion so we would be adding the next maximum element which is 5 so 5 into uh, sorry modulus 10 into 10 so 5 modulus 10 is 5 5 into 10 is 50 so we would be adding 50 here so it becomes 53 and i is incremented to the next element which is index 3 and simultaneously we need to decrease this maximum index which now becomes 3 okay so now coming to a of 3 now it's an odd position right so we need to add the element at the uh, minimum index right so which is a of 1 which is 12 here right so we add 12 modulus 10 into 10 so 12 modulus 10 is 2 2 into 10 is 20 right so we add uh, 20 here so our element at this index becomes 24 now this element is covered so we need to increment the minimum index which becomes 2 and simultaneously we need to increment our i which comes here at index 4 now i is uh, this is the even index right so we need to add the element present at the maximum index here which is which is uh, a of 2 uh, sorry a of 3 right so it was 24 right so 24 modulus 10 into 10 right so 24 modulus 10 becomes 4 and 4 into 10 is 40 so we would be adding 40 here right so it becomes 45 right now coming to the last index so our i comes here which is the fifth index now it is an odd index so we need to add the element present at the minimum index right so we add it here sorry a of 5 it was a of 4 right okay so a of 5 we add the element present at the minimum index right so it is a of 2 which is 53 so 53 modulus 10 and into 10 right so it becomes 3 into 10 30 so we add 30 here so it becomes 36 okay so finally what we have in our array is 61 followed by 12 53 24 then 45 and then 36 right now if i had to extract uh, the output array from this what i can do is i can divide all of these elements by z so as to extract the elements which would be present finally here right 
so let us divide by z z is 10 here right okay so if i divide the 61 by 10 it becomes 6 12 divided by 10 it is 1 53 by 10 it is 5 24 by 10 it is 2 45 by 10 it is 4 and 36 by 10 it is 3 so we are getting this array as our final output right and it is correct right okay so now if we more uh, clearly observe here is that let's say i was to uh, manipulate this index 4 here right so now uh, at index 4 what was to be merged was this uh, element 4 right but uh, the manipulation earlier done made it 24 so now i needed to extract 4 from here so i used this modulus operation right so 24 modulus 10 gave me 4 and then again i multiplied it with my z which was 10 so it became 45 here now coming back uh, let's say if we were uh, to manipulate this index uh, the last index right fifth index so now uh, in our final answer here 3 was to come but the element present at this index had become 53 right so we did modulus 10 which gave me 3 then i multiplied back with 10 and added to this element so it became 36 and in this fashion we got these elements and finally to extract the elements uh, we uh, divided all of these elements by our z we chose so uh, and z was 10 right so dividing all these elements by 10 we got this as the output and you see we didn't use any extra array right we only manipulated this array and what concept was used was that if you had to place two elements at the same index simultaneously we can use the modulus and the multiplication operator and uh, with this logic here uh, yeah this one and then finally to extract the required elements we can either use the modulus or the division operator as we did here when we were to extract all the elements right and to extract the elements at while we were iterating we use the modulus operator right so i hope you have got this concept uh, how can we place two elements simultaneously at the same index right so the time complexity of this approach would be o of n only since we iterated through all the elements in a linear fashion but the space complexity is now reduced and it is o of 1 and now both of these fit into our constraints right so i hope you understood the concept and like the video thank you for watching